If you have been advised by one of our drive electric technicians to check the continuity of or have been advised to replace your speed sensor, please continue watching the following instructional video. Please review the PowerPoint presentation on how to locate and access the speed sensor harness before proceeding. Depending on the model of vehicle you own, your car will be equipped with either an advanced DC motor with a bolt-on speed sensor or a shang -Yin motor with a clip-on speed sensor. To replace a speed sensor in a shang -Yin motor, use a large flathead screwdriver. Gently pry on the sensor from the opening in the motor case. The sensor will pop out and expose the recessed magnet. In the event you need to replace the magnet, use a number two Phillips head screwdriver to remove the magnet from the armature. If the magnet is intact, remove this screw, replace it to your new speed sensor. Reinstall your speed sensor by lining it up and pressing firmly. To replace a speed sensor on an advanced DC motor, use a 5 16 or 8 millimeter wrench to remove the two screws holding the speed sensor to the motor. This will allow you to remove the speed sensor from the motor. Protruding out from the motor, you will see a disc magnet held on by a 10 millimeter bolt. If the magnet appears intact, you will only need to replace the speed sensor. In the event you should need to remove the magnet, use a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen the bolt from the armature. In order to check the continuity of your speed sensor harness, the first thing you need to do is raise the rear of your car. After you've done that, remove the passenger side rear wheel. From here, you will be able to access the bottom half of your speed sensor harness. For demonstration purposes, we have removed the speed sensor harness and made it external for easier viewing. To check the continuity of your speed sensor harness, unplug the speed sensor from the harness behind the passenger side wheel that you have removed. Unplug the six pin plug from the controller. To test, set your voltmeter to register ohms or continuity. Place the red lead into one of the wires of the six pin plug. Take your black lead and plug it into the corresponding wire on the lower speed sensor harness. You should have zero resistance or full continuity. Do this procedure for each of the three wires that run from the controller to the speed sensor.